I have lost 100% of the guy friends who have said they liked me. Seriously, not a single guy friend that I've had in all my years that has confessed to me, I am still friends with. There was this TikTok video floating around of some guy saying, oh yeah, like girls, they know. Yeah, we know and we're not going to say anything because as soon as we acknowledge it, as soon as that secret's out in the open, that friendship is over. Like if you tell me that you like me and I don't like you back, it seems selfish and inconsiderate for me to just keep being friends with you and just acting normal when I know that you want something more. The right thing to do feels like to give you your space so that you can move on. And it's always very sad. We're friends and then they either tell me they like me or somehow it gets out and then we both sort of have to acknowledge it. And oftentimes there's a period where they either ignore me or they ghost me or in some cases they start getting really mean. And then we just don't really talk anymore and you just kind of become very cordial with each other. I don't know, I think this is just like something that happens to girls that people don't really talk about. What benefits do you get from having him as a friend? Um, he's always there for me, that's for sure. Um, one call away, my best friend, and ex-boyfriend, so. <laughs> Wait, ex-boyfriend? Yeah. So exes can be friends? She calls us friends, but I don't consider us friends. What do you guys consider each other? Well, what do you consider her? Uh, technically still figuring it out, but I'm the one she calls when she needs to cry. Stupid. It's a work in progress. It's one. So is everything. It's one work in progress. What's good, guys? It's your boy, Justin J, coming to you with another car video. Let's cook, boys. Let's cook. All right. Why you must avoid the friend zone and why women can only play games with you when you allow them to. So basically women are going to play games with you when you play games with them. I see a lot of guys, right, getting butt hurt all the time because women don't find you sexually attractive like that and then you accept the friend zone in hopes of, you know, eventually getting out of it and being like, you know, her best option. But that's not gonna happen. You need to understand that a woman cannot play games with you if you do not allow it to happen. And I'm telling you right now, a friend is somebody that's going to be there for you through thick and thin. So, yes, men and women can be friends as long as there's no sexual attraction there. You know, you will have chicks that, you know, will be lifelong friends that can come over and have dinner with your family. You know what I mean? And like vice versa. Yes, you have friends that, you know, you've grown up with the chick since like middle school, high school. You do things for each other. You know, it's not going to be like a one sided deal. But typically what men like to do is lurk in the shadows and then, you know, just spend all this time in the friend zone. And then when it never really goes anywhere, they get upset. And I'm letting you know right now. Women know what they're doing when they place you there. So, you know, in, even if she wants to come around and double back around for you, you know, when her options run out, you're not going to be getting her at her best. So it does not do you a service to wait around like a little clown, a little do boy, you know, a little simp in the friend zone, because best believe you're going to be not it's not a fair exchange. You're going to be doing like boyfriend activities that like when you're in the friend zone, the funny part about it is you're damn near her boyfriend without a title. You know, she's going to call you when she needs things. She's going to call you like, hey, can you help me move? Hey, you know, can we just talk real quick? I need somebody to listen, you know, stuff like that. And you're going to be confused. Like she'll go out on a date with me. She'll do all this stuff. That's like, I feel like I could be her boyfriend. You know, maybe I should just stay here for a little while. No. Do not do that, guys. You're literally disrespecting yourself. When you want a woman, you go after that woman. You know, if you get rejected, it's cool. And if she offers you the friend zone, you say, no, thank you. And you have my number if you ever want to make something happen with me. And that's it. Then you just like go on about your life. And guys always get butt hurt when that girl that friend zone them gets into a new relationship. They get butt hurt. They get upset. Why doesn't she see me as the best option? I'm a put together guy. I got a lot of stuff going on, but like that doesn't, that doesn't equal sexual attraction. You don't make her feel anything. That's why she put you there in the first place. So I need guys to understand you can be friends with women, you know, all these like spaces and like, you know, the manosphere and like all this stuff, right? They're going to tell you like, there's no benefit to having a woman as your friend. That's not true. 
What if her job actually can help you in some sort of way? You don't have to get with every woman you interact with. And that's like the part that guys don't understand. Women can actually help you build. I'm sorry. They can. I know guys, you're going to come to this, this, like my, my space. And you're going to think like, oh, well, a lot of guys get this confused. This space isn't a channel to like hate on women. It's to give you the information on women and then you move accordingly. This is not like the place to be all men going their own way and all that goofy shit. No. So like if you're on your purpose, you can still get with women. That's what this channel is for to open up your eyes. It's not like, oh, you know, I'm forsaking women forever. No, dude, because especially like my 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 series handsome men's game. So you mean handsome men don't catch interactions off of women? Handsome men aren't good with women? Like, come on, man. Like, don't cope with this stuff. Yes, you can be friends with women. There's not a problem. You can actually have a woman that's in a relationship with another dude and has your best interest more than that other dude. You know what I mean? And it's not even anything sexual attraction related, like, because she's known you longer than him. You understand? That's exactly why a woman will be in a relationship with a guy, be friends with another guy, and he's like, get rid of him. And she's like, it's not even like that. You know, that's that guy's insecurities telling him like, yo, get rid of that guy. Even though it's like a respect thing, if your woman's not disrespecting you, and some dude like, you know, she has some sort of like relationship with this guy where they benefit each other's life in a business way, or they their families know each other. You don't really need to like tell the girl, yo, drop him as a friend and blah, 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 blah. I mean, that's just insecurities coming out. But at the same time, you know when a woman's being disrespectful with her stuff. So you would instantly see like this guy's more than a friend. She has some sort of interest in him. But it's the same way, vice versa, when you will have a girlfriend and you will have other girls that are your friends, but you're not sexually attracted to them. Now, if your girl's not insecure, she's not going to care. And honestly, it's going to turn her on more that you're able to have longer lasting relationships with other women prior to her. I'm telling you right now. Yes, she will be a little bit jealous, but hey, that's just a part of the game. But let's get back to the topic at hand. When you sit around and you play in the friend zone, hoping that maybe one day you'll get your chance. I'm telling you right now, you're going to end up making yourself look like a fool, like a clown. If you really want a woman... See, guys are afraid of rejection, but here's the thing. When you go after a chick that you actually are sexually attracted to and she rejects you, it's still a W somewhere in there because you're a hunter as a man. You saw something that you wanted and you went after it the same way how you would go to McDonald's and order a number four, the same way that you have a job right now that pays less than the job that you're actually going for right now because you want a higher paying position. You're still going after things that you want. You go to the store. Hey, that t-shirt looks cool. You know, I don't have one like it. So that's a better t-shirt and I have the money to buy it. So I'm going to do so, right? You're going after what you want. I don't know why guys try to overcomplicate things and, you know, they just wait around for like opportunities to, you know, present themselves to them. Like, no, no, no. You are the opportunity as a man. Guys, always remember that. That's what I'm trying to teach on my channel. You're the opportunity. So if a chick don't want to be on your program, that's fine, but never play their goofy games because women can only play games with you when you allow it but when you're masculine and different and stoic you know a woman knows like yo i can't even play with him like that so she's not gonna play with you like that but when you act like oh, i'm not sure about myself and you know maybe we could do the whole friend thing yeah sure she knows that you're not that guy you're not about anything let me explain something i seen a commenter comment he was hanging out with a girl Instead of making a move on her, he kisses her on the cheek. And then he said, oh, we're on the phone. And, you know, she gave me all these sexual advances. But, you know, then we were on the phone and she shared her screen. And she showed me, like, a message of a guy that she left on delivered or whatever. But I'm still pissed because why would she Why would she show me that? You know why she showed you that? Because she knows that you're going to play this goofy-ass game with her and do this goofy dance with her. The same way you gave her a kiss on the cheek when you know that's not what you really wanted, bro. You know who I'm talking to. I'm talking directly to you. So you're all butthurt and mad at her, but you open Pandora's box. She knows you're not about anything, bro. So she knows nine times out of 10, she could put you in the friend zone because you're acting like a friend. She knows nine times out of 10, you're going to stick around for games because you're playing a game with her. See, that's what I'm saying. You kissed her on the cheek knowing that you want to get sexual with her. So you're playing games. Now, see, this is the thing. When you play games with women, they're way better at it than you, bro. They're way better at it than you, bro. That whole like emotional shit, they're way better than you. You're not going to win. So you just opened up Pandora's box for nothing when you probably could have got what you wanted. See, when you don't make a move on women, they will designate you and put you, they will put you in the friend zone 
like automatically because it's like well, well wait does this guy not like me or you know okay he wants to play this waiting game i will make him wait i will make him wait and then get with another guy that ain't trying to wait do you understand so you're going to be in the friend zone now and you're going to be waiting your turn not getting her at her best when you could have just got with her man like i always say with women you got to strike while it's hot i do not understand why guys want to play these goofy games so it's like when you strike while it's hot let's say you strike while it's hot and then she goes away you got what you wanted you understand let's say you try to strike while it's hot she gives you resistance you tell her well you got my number um hit me up when you're ready to do it you know and we're good you you didn't take a loss there but when you play that friend zone role you're always going to take a loss here's another thing too i got a story from high school when i was a junior and this chick was a senior when i finally made my move but when she came to the school she was a junior i was a sophomore so you know this chick walks into my science class and they're showing her around the school and i'm so nervous like i'm just like holy shit this girl is beautiful and she was you know like damn this girl's hot so she eventually starts going to our school and then the whole year she's like we're waving at each other smiling at each other and passing but i'm always so nervous i'm just acting like you know i don't know like that's you know that friend zone vibe you know i'm just acting like that and then you know the next year comes i'm a junior she's a senior so it's her last year and you know she was dating this dude in the school and eventually like they fizzled out and i remember at this point in computers class i'd be looking over the way and she'd be looking at me like smiling like just looking at me like she thought like there was something special about me and i'm looking back at her like we're always having those eyes with each other and those looks right so i mustered up the courage to start like talking to her but just regular small talk right so one day you know it's probably like i don't even know i think it was like a couple months left in the school year i write this love note i know simply behavior but come on guys like I'm like a junior with no game at that point. So I write this love note and I give it to her, eighth period. And you know, I go home, I go about my day. I show back up to school the next day. She's just like nervous as hell, nervous as hell. Like, why'd you give her that note? You know, she's about to reject you. Why did you give her that note? She comes up to me and she's like, I never knew you felt that way. I feel the same way. I'm so happy you gave me that note. Like I was cheesing the whole time I was reading it. And I'm so glad that you finally like made a move because I wanted you to make a move this whole time. Do you know that like, we walked to class together? We chilled outside of school. We hooked up. Everybody knew we were a couple and uh, in school and shit. That story just goes to show you no matter even how you do it, you know, like at that point, you know, it's like as long as you go for what you want, there's a W there. Now, let's say that never happened. Like she never told me, like, you know, I wanted you to make that move and I'm so glad you made that move. Let's say it never happened. You know, it was still a W because I went after what I wanted. But see, if you just don't go after what you want, you know, the chick probably likes you, bro. Don't play the friend zone. Don't do it. And I'm telling you, that's when I was like a little beta male. And it just goes to show you that as long as you go after what you want and let the, the woman decide, she's going to decide good, bad or indifferent. But don't sit there and play the friend zone and act like you're really her friend when you're not, because women are good at detecting a lot of this stuff. And remember, guys, like in that story, I told you when I approached a girl that was with the dude and I'm like, that's your man. She's like, no, 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 no. He ain't my man. And I'm like, you know, so what's, you know, she's like, look, I know that he wants to get with me, but he's just my friend, you know, like, don't, don't pay that any mind. And I'm like, yo, see what I mean? Like, they know, they know. So the whole time you're sitting over there accepting it, you're disrespecting yourself, especially, look, I know it's hard for a lot of guys to see themselves as that dude, but this is what I really do this for. Once you start seeing yourself as that dude, you're never going to be put in that position. It's either going to be like, we're not sexually attracted to each other and I can like benefit from her as well as she can benefit from me. So yeah, we could do this whole like, you know, acquaintance thing. But realistically speaking, if if you're sexually attracted to a woman and you're, you're like wasting time, spending time, putting out energy, that makes no sense. That makes no sense because you know what would be your payment for doing all that? Sexual activities. You know? You wouldn't be doing boyfriend things without her doing girlfriend things. So it's just a very one-sided deal when you want to be a chick's friend and you're very sexually into her and she's not sexually into you. I'm going to just put it like that. Guys, be confident in who you are. Let chicks know what it is that you want and be direct. Be straight up direct with them. I'm telling you, ever since I started being direct, sh shit's been working. And look at that story. Simp ass behavior, all nervous about this one chick. And I still went for what I wanted. And she was still like, yo, 
I cannot believe you made a move. I wanted you to make a move this whole time. And look at the way I did it. Love note. But, you know, I'm 32. So, you know, that was junior year. So back then, stuff like that was acceptable. You know, you try to do that now. I mean, good luck. But it's just the simple fact of you want to let a woman know your true intentions and then let her choose. You understand? And you have to take what women say, not like seriously, but you have to take it for what it is. So if a woman's like, I think we'd be better off as friends, you know, take that for what it is, you know, and read between the lines and learn how to decode womanese. Like, I don't find you sexually appealing like that. I don't see you as a person that would make me break rules. I don't, I see you as a person that I would make rules for. That's what the friend zone means. So as long as you know how to navigate and just be a man about your shit, you're never going to be playing a woman's goofy game and you're never going to be put in the friend zone and then be like this whole time thinking in your head, like, but she's, she's going on with all these other guys, but I'm literally the best guy for her. Women don't operate like that guys. Like you could be the best option for her that won't break her heart. And she's not going to go with you. I'm telling you. And if she does go with you, it's going to be after she's done getting with guys that are going to break her heart. So just remember be direct with women. Do not play games with these women. And everything's going to work out. And nine times out of 10, the woman that you're tiptoeing around and that you're all scared of, she likes you. I'm telling you right now, she probably likes you and she's waiting for you to make a move. But see, like that guy who kissed that girl in the cheek, one of the, you know, one of my subscribers commenting that goofy stuff. It's like, okay, so you shot yourself in the foot because that girl probably really wanted you. You said you were on the phone getting sexual. She was giving you advances like she wants that energy from you. And then you just do some like beta male shit, like kiss her on the cheek. Oh, I'm trying to make her wait and play this little build sexual tension. Listen, building sexual tension isn't kissing a girl in the cheek and then like waiting. Building sexual tension is telling this chick what it is exactly you want to do, painting pictures and telling her just how you're going to do it to her. She's like, oh my God, I can't wait for this to happen now. That's building sexual tension not doing some goofy not meeting up with her and then playing a goofy game that's not building sexual attention it's just letting her know that you're a lame and that you're prone to play games so she's going to play games with you and if they don't want to be on your program and they go away they still respect you i don't understand why guys don't understand that they think that by her, they think that a woman showing them respect is doing everything that they want to do. No, like a woman has choices. So when she walks away from you, she could be like, you know what? Fuck. Like, look, a chick I'm talking to right now, she said that she was, you know, on her morning walk and some guy who's not attractive. He's not anything like she, he's not her cup of tea. He stopped her. She took out the headphone. Hello. He said, what's up? You're very beautiful. Like, I just wanted to stop and talk to you. Da, 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 da. She started talking to him and then he asked for her number. She said, no, thank you. But, you know, I appreciate you approaching me. She kept on about her business. She told me later on the phone, like, you know what happened to me? And, you know, it's crazy. Like, he ain't my type. And I don't even like that guy. Like, but he took rejection like a champ. He took it like a champ. He took it on the chin. And I respect him for it. So always remember that real life example of a chick I'm talking to. You know what I mean? She told him straight up, no. But I respect you for it. And kept it pushing on about her day. And she literally respected him for it because men who are attractive to women don't even want to approach them. So she knew that that took guts, that took courage. See what I mean, guys? Never be afraid to go after what you want. Don't play games. Be direct. And you're going to have like you're not going to have a hard time out here. I'm telling you right now. It's your boy, Justin J. Get with you boys in the next video. Like, comment, subscribe. Let's go, boys. Let's go.